What is the best attachment by far in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War? I will show you that in this video today. Ladies and gents, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today I am going to show you by far the best attachment in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for almost every weapon. If you're new to this channel, and I guess you are, do not forget to subscribe. You will have a better game experience, you will become a better player by watching our videos. And guys, it's hard to say, but this attachment gives you a small feeling to be an actual wall hacker, a cheater. But this attachment is actually in the game and it's very powerful. I'm talking about the flashlight. Why is the flashlight so important? Because Black Ops Cold War has a major issue, the visibility. You can see enemies quite hard. It's quite hard to see enemies, even if they are head glitching or staying still, it's hard to see them. But the flashlight will give you an actual wall hack. Sometimes it's buggy that you can see enemy through a wall. I will show you my footage. I'm not hacking nothing. It's a normal flashlight. Sometimes you can see them through the wall. Or the best example is you can see enemies behind grass. Cartel is the best example for this. But let's jump into the build. So I want to show you the flashlight which I'm using the most. And I'm not using the ADS flashlight because in my opinion it's I wouldn't say it's useless, but you, but you need the flashlight or the benefits from the flashlight when you are walking around and when you are looking for enemies. And because I'm not staying still and ADS all the time, I'm moving around and I try to find my enemies. And the flashlight is exactly doing that. It reveals your enemies by, in my case, a bright pink purple name tag a dot and a name tag and everything I need to give some shots. I don't care about through the grass or through, through some surface. You can make some nice wall banks in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and you should use that. Okay, um, enough talking. I will show you actual gameplay. If I already didn't, I will show you the gameplay, how it looks like to play with the flashlight. I, I'm going to play it all the time because in my opinion if I can hip fire the enemy I can hip fire him even without the laser attachment for me the hip firing is not 100% correct in terms of reliability but the flashlight is and the flashlight reveals the enemy with a big big bright name tag and you can shoot through grass as I said through some walls even I told you about some bugs I made a clip on Moscow you can see an enemy running behind the wall. It's definitely a bug. It's an issue in the game, but it's strong enough even without the bug. It helps you a lot to see enemies. Believe me, guys, try the flashlight. It will help you a lot. It's like a big, big warning signal. Hey, there is an enemy. Maybe you missed it or there is an enemy behind the grass. You can shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. And it's three points and it makes you look like a cheater because the flashlight animation or effect is not showing up in the kill cam, in the best play or whatever and it looks like you're hacking, you're actually hacking and it's unbelievable how strong the flashlight is. I wouldn't recommend to use the laser because as I said if you can hip fire the enemy you can hip fire him no matter if you have the laser or you haven't. For me hip firing is not 100% reliable. Go and try the flashlight and write into the comments what you are thinking about the normal flashlight. Of course you can use the ADS flashlight. With the ADS flashlight it shows enemy even by a bigger distance. In my opinion it's not 100% necessary but you can try it. And guys leave a comment into the comment section if you like the flashlight, if you already tested it and what do you think about the flashlight. And if you like the video give us a like to show the world we Germans can win at least something. And if you like that would be awesome to show the world that you liked our video. That would be nice. See you in another video and check out the next Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video.